Hi, so second of three videos about about S6R first sky receiver with uh, with stabilization. Second video about setup of your model and switching uh, between flight modes between modes of stabilization of this receiver on an OpenTX uh, transmitter. I will show you it on a first sky Horus transmitter. Uh, yes, I know uh, Terranis Plus or Terranis E is a little bit different with different buttons with uh, monochromatic uh, display. But uh, trust me, uh, this is core fun this core functions of OpenTX are absolutely same on Horus or on OpenTX, and you can easily set up your Terranis transmitter with instructions from Horus radio. So this is not a video for totally beginners. You must press button on left side longer at the I hope you have some uh, intermediate experiences with OpenTX so it will be easy for you uh, set your transmitter not depending if it is uh, Taranis or Horus. You just need only OpenTX. So, before uh, programming, I will draw with pen and paper some basic, I don't know, preparation, preparation of programming. First, Step step number one. You must bind your receiver in D16 mode. Yes. Before bin procedure, just select D16 mode of receiver. <coughs> S6R is six channel receiver. But actually, this is not true. If you will set, maybe you can say yourself, OK, 6 receiver, I will select mode channel, uh, mode D16, channels 1, 2, 8. This is enough 8 channels for 6 channels receiver. No, no, this is bad, this is wrong. This is OK, this is 6 channel receiver, but you must set minimum uh, channel range is 1 to 12 or you can just use 16, 1 to 16 uh, channel range, channels range. Why? Because this receiver use 6 channels for functions, ailerons, uh, elevators, blah blah blah, etc. But next channel number 9, 4. Gain of gyro, channel 10 and channel 11 for uh, switching modes of stabilization and channel 12 for, for uh, force command for auto test or self check uh, before flying. You can force your receiver by uh, wireless command for auto, auto check, auto self uh, function. You will see later, yes. Auto test or self check. So, minimum is 12 channels in your model, yes. You will just... Uh, my OpenTX here is in Czech language, but this is really not uh, important for this basic functions. When you will, I, I will create a new model. Just create a new model, and in setup of model, you must use mode D16. And channel range minimum to 12 
or 216, no problem. Yes? This is really important. If you will use setup 128, it will not work. This is about mode. About mode. Now, uh, now about mode of flight stabilization. I will show you or describe only basic and core functions of this uh, stabilization in receiver. Basic function is just standard stabilization. Just function which will switch off a wind. Yes, depending of uh, wind speed, of course. Just standard stabilization function. Next function is auto level. Auto level is uh, something like panic button on a spectrum flight stabilization systems. We will just switch on any uh, button on your transmitter and your airplane, not depending on his position, will try uh, move airplane on a standard uh, just flight position, standard flying. Yes, of course you need some speed, some level, uh, some altitude, etc. Just these two functions are basic and my recommendation is if you are beginner with stabilization systems, especially beginner with RC Flying 2, use only these two functions. Because we have next two functions. Uh, hovering, hover, hovering. When your airplane will try hover with nose up and knife edge fly. These two functions, I will show you only. I will show you only um, right values on channels 10 and 11 for switch on these functions. But that's all. Because uh, if you are beginner or normal RC pilot, you will use. And my recommendation is use only these two functions. Because with these two functions, you can easy without some experiences, you can easily uh, just crash with your model. If you will switch on, you can make some uh, mistake on the switches in stress during uh, flying and if you will, uh, by a mistake, uh, if you will switch uh, knife edge flying when your airplane will be on high speed, on a, in low altitude, you can just uh, hit uh, ground with the wing, etc, etc. For hover, you need some experiences. So, my recommendation is, if you are a beginner, use only these two functions. And if you want these two functions, okay, your risk. These four flight modes, or modes of flight stabilization, you will switch with the different values on channels 10 and 11. Just different combinations of values 0, minus 100, plus 100. Actually this 100 is not uh, necessary, yes, but for easy exclamation I will use 100. It works. For, for standard stabilization, you need on channel 10 100% value, on channel 11 0. If you will use the transmitter and model without some server reversing on channels, Minus 100 uh, value is up position of switch, zero 
is center position of switch and plus 100 plus 100 is bottom position of switch. If you will switch this on back side of radio, you must be sure what is up, this is up and this is down because it could be a little bit confusing now what is up and what is down because this is up and this is down. For this reason I use uh, I use more servo values than position of switches because positions of switches could be especially on back switches could be a little bit confusing. But with standard uh, switches setups plus 100 is just switch down zero is just center position of switch for auto level function you need on channel 10 again 100 it means switch down and same position same value 100 or less on channel 11 for hovering or hover you need again 100 on channel 10 and minus 100 on channel 11 yes on for knife edge you need uh, minus minus 100 on channel 10 and 0 on channel 11 yes. I use not only these two uh, flight modes but I use function completely switch of stabilization functions too if you want completely switch of stabilization so in your airplane will be standard six channels receiver you must on for all these four modes if your channel 10 is with zero value it means switch for channel 10 will be in central position probably if is channel 10 with zero value all stabilization systems are off and you have just standard six channels receiver so I want use this flight modes and I want control it with this switches setup if this switch will be here in this position close to table yes standard stabilization will be on if I want use auto level function panic button as panic button I will use this switch if I press and hold this switch auto level function auto level function will be on if I release this button I will use only stabilization function and if during the flying I want just switch off completely flight stabilization I will just press this button close to me up it is up close to me but actually it is down position I say a little bit confusing so how to do it is easy again I know check open the X but you will see this is not uh, important so I have a model with D16 1 to 12 minimally server range or channel, uh, channel range and in model setup I will go in mixer and because I want to use channel 10 and 11 I will probably uh, I won't work with channel 10 and 11. On channel 10 I will just create a new mix. As source I will use 
this switch. Okay, now I will go over this window and with on Taranis with long press of menu on my uh, Horus with this press. I am, uh, I am on uh, channel monitors, uh, channels monitor, and I can see values on channel 10. But remember, I want for this position stabilization on what means for channel 10 plus 100, not minus 100 plus 100 and because if I this switch will switch to this position I want to use this position for switch of stabilization so for this position I want 0 not plus 100 so I must only change in mix setup um, right values for both position of this switch I want for this position plus 100 and for this position 0, not like this. So many ways for do that. I really like curves so I will make it, of course you, you, you can use offset and reverse of value. I just like curves, custom curve, K1. For this function, two points is enough for me, and for one position of switch, I want plus 100, plus 100, and for second position of switch, I want zero. Look at that. Again, servo monitor. So. Uh, Standard stabilization is on, it means on channel 10 is 100. If I want switch stabilization on channel 10 is 0. Is zero. Yes. Now, on channel, because for uh, standard stabilization I use, uh, I need not only channel 10, but channel 11 too. Channel 10 100, okay, in channel 11, in channel 11 0, okay, 0 is here. But it will change in the next step when I will set up auto level function. In auto level function, I want 100 on channel 10, same value like in previous step. But on channel 11, I want 100, not 0 like now. It's <laughs> easy to make, difficult to, to describe. So on channel 11, I will again make a new mix. <coughs> As source, I will use this switch. And again, I can check it in servo monitor how it works <coughs> now interesting me channel 11 in standard stabilization it need zero position now it is here minus 100 this is wrong and for auto level function when I will press this button I need plus 100 this is OK. Again, I will use curves for fix it. So again, curve, custom, I must create new curve, K2, again, two points, two points, two points. <laughs> Two points is enough, and for this position of this switch, this is left side of this curve, I need zero, this is okay, 
and for this position of switch this is this side of course this point I need uh, plus 100 yes that's all <coughs> again check with servo monitor so standard fly stabilization on channel 10 plus 100 on channel 11 0 auto level function plus 100 plus 100 on both channels 10 and 11 if I want switch off fly stabilization completely I need 0 on channel 10 that's all so I can for example I use this fly stabilization systems uh, during maiden first flights of some uh, models just uh, because uh, often I throw my model or fling my model by myself by right hand and I fly mode for 4 so I uh, put model in the air with same hand which I need for elevator so I really appreciate some help of this flight stabilization systems during maiden flights because sometime without flight st stabilization you know that you will put model first flight yes maiden flight you put model in, in air and model can go on left or up or down with flight stabilization system probably if your model is not completely wrong if uh, setup of your model is not completely wrong your model with flight stabilization system will just go fly uh, directly and straight and you can go up in a safe altitude in safe altitude I will switch off flight stabilization trim my model for correct flying without flight, stabiliz flight stabilization tool and uh, this is just how I use this stabilization. So for this I need switch off flight stabilization. So I think that's all. I know this is a really long movie about setup of two channels but uh, uh, you know I can make uh, two minutes videos with uh, loop 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 switch on switch on 100 100 core 1 core 2 ok see you later yes but I want show you uh, things behind that yes what which channel do on this function about channel 12 auto test when you will switch on your airplane on airfield you will switch on uh, transmitter you will switch on airplane or receiver and S6R in your airplane will check correct level and correct position of your airplane during switch on this uh, airplane with the receiver airplane must be in correct position or a little bit nose up so after power on receiver check orientation of airplane and receiver will wait for maximum movement, servo movement of your servos, of your model. Because this stabilization don't know uh, how far it can go during stabilization. So you must, after switch on a model in correct position, you must move with elevator, ruder, ailerons, of course not with ruder. And with this servo movement, you will tell to this receiver inside your model safe endpoints of your airplane. Yes. And after that, after movement of uh, sticks on your transmitter, receiver will make self check or auto test. It will move it 
both ailerons with aileron and uh, with ailerons aileron, elevator and intruder. If is position of model a little bit of an of envelope for right values, uh, maybe you need switch on this auto test manually. You can do it both ways. You can open your model and uh, receiver is under power, yes, power on. You will just press uh, binding button on your receiver inside your model and with this press of binding button you will just force receiver to make this auto test or self check or you can send wireless wirelessly wireless you can send some value on channel 12 and again you will wireless force your receiver for make self check or auto test why i not will show you how to do on a channel 12 this auto test because during auto test your receiver will without the control so if you with any your mistake with uh, any mistake of you or radio or i don't know if you will run auto test or self check during flying a few seconds seconds is your airplane without the control this is really dangerous and you must be sure then you make wireless self check or auto test if your airplane is on the ground and you must be sure that you cannot make it uh, unwantedly during flying because this is really dangerous I use uh, this uh, wireless self-check but I have for this really strong combination of uh, uh, positions of sticks and switches and maybe I will show you it uh, in some next movie. So I think that's all and see you later on airfield with Video number three about S6R, how we can fly with this. But this is only, this will be only just uh, last, <laughs> last uh, video only about. I will just switch on and I will fly, and and we will see how this self test will works. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I know this is long, I make these videos without the preparation so it's a little bit difficult for me to uh, make it in different language. So, have a nice day.